Big Red gets up and goes. It sure does. <laughs> nice. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm with Frank Kowalski. And Frank's got, well, one big red car. <laughs> Frank, what year make and model is this one? This is a 1968 Chrysler Imperial. And this one is a Survivor. This Survivor's got actual 27,000 miles on it. <laughs> 27,000 miles on, well, big red. So let's take a look at this. So first of all, we've got the sun beaming on the front of it. So you can see that massive brick chrome car coming straight at you. Now this is the Imperial, which means they didn't hold back any chrome or features. The Imperial badge, the hood scoop, I love the fact that, notice it's got little touch-up marks on it from from uh, the age of this car. So we're talking, what, 53 years? 53 years old, and it's got original chrome, it's not been re-chromed. Wow, come on alongside me. So we've got Clifford the big red dog with it, because, well, this one is <laughs> the red dog. So Frank, how, uh, how long have you had this one? I've had this car since, since 2015. 2015. And let me do this. Let me show you what it looks like with the top up coming down. So I wanted to show you the top coming down. It starts off with these latches right here. Go ahead, Frank, if you can pull that open. Perfect. And then we've got uh, the same on this side. And we'll show you how this looks like. First of all, we'll show it to you. Give me just a second. Let me show people what it looks like with the top up. Oh. Go ahead, jump in. Okay. Thank you. That's what it looks like with the top up. Give me one second. I want to show people that look from the back. Perfect. Let's take that top down, Frank. Perfect. And we're back. So let's get a little closer. One of the things you can see, the chrome starts all the way in the front, goes all the way down, curves around right at the back because it's a 68. It's got that little marker light on the quarter, which I'll feature. And the Imperial there. So you knew you were riding in style when you were riding in this one. There's also the Imperial crest there in the center and our turn light right there. We've got the big vent windows there and uh, while we've got it in the sun uh, let's open the hood shall we? All right. There's a pull hood there. <laughs> that, was, that was one big piece of sheet metal. Go ahead, pull it up, sure. Oh, wow. First of all, I just want to show, I really like how tall that hood opens up. I mean, that's straight up right there. So we have our air conditioning. You can see all the proper pieces. The Mopar stamping. Imperial. You don't want to miss the Chrysler Corporation. Our tag here in the air conditioning. So what's the cubic inches? This is a 440 cubic inch, 350 horse. Nice. Interesting too how they have these bars across these tension rods rather than springs to hold that open. And we'll just show you that's got the original padding on it. You can see this plastic piece here, all to give you that comfort sound. We have our tag with our extra piece over here, notice. <laughs> That's just great. Let's uh, let's fire it up, shall we, since we're right here? What, what is this right here, Frank, before you go? What do we have here? 
So Those are vacuum cylinders. Vacuum canisters. cylinders. Okay. Two, two on that side and one in the back. There's three va uh, vacuum cylinders. Vacuum cylinders. Canisters. I'm sorry, Got vacuum it. Canisters. I'm with you. Okay. Perfect. We'll fire up the 440, and I'll go in the back. We'll listen to it. Pretty smooth. Got a little tick tick. There's Clifford, our big red dog. Single exhaust, right? You can see that exhaust is right there. Do me one favor. Put the uh, put it in reverse for a second, would you please? Okay, no reverse lights. That's all right. But I see the other lights. Okay, we'll put it in. We'll put it in park. Give it one good rev, would you please? <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Everything came blowing off the driveway. <laughs> All right, we're going to, uh, let's turn it around for a moment. So here's the back of the car, and I really like this view because as you can see, even though the sun is hitting it, it's really kind of hidden those taillights in all that chrome, which we just showed you in a second when the taillights were on. But the other thing that's super cool with this gas cap is it has the Flying Eagle emblem we're kind of floating there, and you pull this down to do that. That was a really good move by Chrysler. You have the Imperial badge there, the pieces of patina. And I want to show you one other thing, too. When you're standing behind it, that big gap on both sides, that is just a real nice styling cue that you see. And there's that long... Order. Let's take them for a little trunk and treat, shall we? Let's show them a little oh, something right. there before we go to the interior. Now, we've got great trunk and treats for you. First of all, big trunk. Sun hitting it just perfectly, which is where we want it to be. You can see all the originality of that. But even though we've got the move, make your move up to Chrysler in 68, we don't actually have the Imperial in there. There's our color P Matador Red. What is this right here, Frank? This is the plumbing and electrical schematic for the Imperial. Oh, wow. The plumbing <laughs> schematic. And here I see is our build sheet. Where'd you find I that? I found the original build sheet underneath the back seat. And I had it restored. There you go. That's great. The warranty responsibilities Cover for five years or 50,000 miles. Operating your car. Our service manual. Our parts catalog. Your accessories. Yeah, radio. Here's something interesting. The rear seat heater. We don't have that on this car, but an interesting piece for sure. To keep your passengers warm, radios, etc. Rear window defogger, def deflection, shoulder seat belts. That looks quite uncomfortable. Coming all the way from the back seat. Jeez. <laughs> that would never be used. Bumper guards, etc. Let's take a look. We won't go all the way through it since it doesn't have it. They should have not blurred the girl, but they did. It's good to see Mother Mary drives a New Yorker. In the town and country. When you're stranded in a desert, a look there. Third row seating. She does not look happy. And I'm not sure why the seat is in the middle of a batch of rocks. Another girl, not super excited. Lots of pieces here. 
And again, we don't have the New Yorker in this book. Excuse me, the Imperial. We just showed you the New Yorker. So we'll go from there. Let's show them. Uh, there's some unique features on the interior. Let's show them that, shall we? Sure. So when we come over here, show me what's on this door and not on the other door, Frank. It only happens on a convertible. The passengers, when you have the back seat, they open up the front. There's a lever on the side of the passenger door where the driver, passenger in the back seat picks it up. You can open up the door. So just on this side only? It's only on the passenger side. That's, that's for getting outside of the car. Got it. All right, let's show them the other side. First thing I'm going to share with you, since we have the sun hitting it just right, is that instrumentation. That's why. May I? Yes, please. Look at this nice piece here, too, as you grab a hold of it. So as we open up the door, you can see lots of things going on in this door. You've got this nice chrome piece with a light, and that light is actually on. You're greeted by the word Imperial. You have this grab bar, the Flying Eagle, your door pull, okay, like so. It opens that way. Window lock, front, rear, side, mirror, and this map box. We'll take a look at what appears to be a bench, but it has this big piece here that folds down so that it could act like buckets. Your rear seating, I'll show you this, you've got ashtrays and windows on each section. You've got this grab handle here to pull that down and another Flying Eagle there. So as I sit in the car, Frank, tell me about this interior. We've got a lot going on here. What do we have? Okay, what we have here is you have your headlights, your dashboard dimmer, your uh, window washer, windshield wipers, which is uh, three stage. Then you got your port portable top. So we have our gauges up here. I come over to here to show that original mileage. That's amazing. Just under 28,000. When I bought it, it only had 20,000. Is that right? So it is a driver. I don't leave it in the garage. Tell me what we have here. Okay, we have power disc brakes for the front. But and, right, right here on this oh, knob. Okay, you have this knob down here, which is for your air conditioning. Okay. For your uh, legs. The little button on the right-hand side okay. is for your tripodometer. Here. And then you have your map light. Our map light. Got it. And then is there something here or no? No, nothing okay. underneath there. Got it. Now on the left-hand side over here where you've got your bright light switch on the bottom, that button on the top is for your radio for seeking your channels. Ah, wouldn't have known that. Very good. I want to show this steering wheel before I'm going to get out. There's your ashtray, as you can see. And then we have the word crown. Notice we have... Now there's a 70, 75. It's your automatic temperature control. Temperature control, vent. You set the temperature and, and set it for automatic and you do your defrosters, heaters, air conditioning. This is nicely disguising this here. Notice you've got the word local and distant up there as well, your rear speaker. And then uh, um, what's this switch for? Oh, the vent. It, it's a vent. The vent. The got vent it. directional. Can you just step around the other side, just sure. open that up. I want to show what's in there in the uh, glove box. There's something special in the glove box. Very special for the ladies. Every luxury car has got to have something for the ladies. And here we have our pop-up mirror built into the glove box. Right into the glove box like that. That's pretty cool. Now what do we have here? This here is the emergency flashers. And this is a uh, light switch that goes for the inside light. inside the glove box. Wouldn't have saw that coming, that's for sure. All right, let's close that. Give me one other favor. Come on over in the driver's side one more time and show them how this wheel works. We'll beep that horn. Nice. And let's... Uh, okay. Special steering is tilt steering, plus it has telescopic steering. That's cool. 
<laughs> so show them what you did with that handle. Okay, you turn it to the, it says unlock on one side, turn it to the unlock, you push it in, and turn it to the lock side. And Super it doesn't cool. come in or out or anything. Frank, well, since we've got you right there, why don't we uh, take this one for a ride? Let's go for a ride. So I'm here with Frank, and we are out in the Imperial Convertible, the Crown, and you feel like a king in the Crown. Yes, you do. <laughs> Perfect day, as you can see. I'll just show you where we're driving. How do you feel driving it? Oh, I love driving this thing. You feel like a king driving it. You do. I mean, it is so smooth. When you purchased this one and you drove it for the first time, what I was, was I was scared to death. Really? Why? Because of the well, size? The size of the hood. I mean, I, I came. I picked the car up when I had my little Toyota Prius. <laughs> so I go did for you put Toyota it, Prius. Did you put it in the glove box? <laughs> I used to put it in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> how, how big is this car? This car is almost 20 feet long. <laughs> wow, that, that wheelbase is making this super smooth ride. That's unbelievable. Back in 1968, it was the longest car made. This one? Yes, it even beat the Cadillac by three inches. Really? Wow. I don't know if it beat the Cadillac in sales. No. But it, it probably the sales. yeah. And this was much more expensive you were sharing. This yes. is this is great. Well we're gonna take our viewers on a little ride here. You're gonna like this. We're taking you through or are we taking him to the, the bat cave. We're going oh, back to the bat cave. Back to the bat cave. Check this out. This is a gravel road, and I'm feeling nothing. <laughs> it's just you can't so. Let go of the steering wheel. Just, yeah, let go of the steering. That's great. I don't recommend that. Though. No, I so, don't recommend it. Yeah, okay, you can only but do that for so but long. But you can tell how smooth it is. Yeah, it's no. Not moving anywhere. No, it isn't moving. This is one solid ride. I'll keep showing people the view here. As we pull you in. How much fun is this trip? Birds flying out of the way. Well, we're going to continue the adventure, but uh, what a wonderful journey. What an amazing car. So much fun, right? It was. It's a blast. <laughs> my pleasure having you on my car story. My pleasure, Lou. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.